Thank you so much for the time today. Thank you, Andrew. I'm happy to see you. Well, you know, speaking about departure and coming back this time, there's a major incident involving a train, a high-speed train that's derailed. And your character, Special Agent Ellen Hunter, is at the center of a little bit of, you know, conspiracy, I guess we could say. Uh, can you tell me, you know, where, where we find her this season? Well, I am um, there actually in season two. So this is my first season joining the show. And uh, I'm just so excited to be here. So excited to play this fierce, determined, seeking truth and justice woman. Um, and you find her on board the devastated. Actually, no, I bump into Kendra Malley on the train. Um, Archie Punjabi played by the lovely Archie Punjabi. And, and, and Ellen Hunter is there to find a suspect that she has in custody. I'll say it. I'll say it that way because I don't want to lead the audience. I don't want to, you know, give away any spoilers. Yeah, and it's 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 going to be interesting because you know I've seen the first episode and I, I kind of at least the the starting point, but you know, is she going to be? I guess as we progress through the season, is she going to be helpful? Is she going to be in the way of things? How how does she relate to to the team? Are they going to end up like Cagney and Lacey? I can't help but <laughs> think that you know. Do they agree to disagree? I think that uh, Ellen does start off to be, I don't want to say an obstacle, because in my opinion, perhaps Kendra is an obstacle to me, <laughs> right? Right. Uh, so uh, I think when you first meet up with them, you are going to find a little bit of uh, conflict going on, because both of them are on different agendas. They have different missions. They want to, you know, Kendra's there, obviously, to solve solve the, the mystery of why the train is derailed in the first place. But Ellen Hunter is on, a, on another mission. And I love the way, I mean, you come in, I mean, obviously, when you say FBI, people have a certain expectation for that kind of character. So did you have that in mind when you're, you know, kind of planning to play her? I I did, you know, even she read, I love it. She really read No Nonsense. And I was all right with that because I feel like it's business first. Obviously, we're people. I, I took my time to do my Ellen Hunter out of out of costume look today. But uh, I, I was excited to decide to get my feet on the ground and get grounded and get to business. And I feel like Ellen Hunter's that. So I, I do love the way that uh you know those first few meetings that we see between them you know certainly uh ellen seems to i don't want to say that she puts her in her place but certainly she's like no no you're 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 not going to get in the way of what i'm doing here <laughs> yeah. i love that you said puts her in her place lord knows i try i try <laughs> i try with archie uh, that's what i absolutely love too i mean it's you know, it doesn't get, got to get on rant, but it's just two women doing business. Right. That's just that it kind of starts off like that. So. Because, well, you know, she's asking me questions that she really has no business asking. <laughs> Legally. That doesn't, theoretically doesn't relate to what she's investigating, although we'll see, I guess. <laughs> exactly. That's, yeah, exactly. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> So what was it like working with this team and, you know, kind of, you know, st stepping in, you know, into the, the, the season? It's, it's been amazing. I, 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 I can honestly say this cast is absolutely lovely. They're beasts of a talent, you know, getting into that, uh, the, the headquarters that we set up to start the investigation, just the vibe, mind you, this was, our show was probably the second or third up uh, in the pandemic as well. Mm. Here we were working with this intensity, all the actors coming together to get this mission done. But I know somewhere in the back of our mind, we know that COVID is existing is very real and, you know, we have to stay safe, but sort of added another level of intensity. Mm. So, uh, very, very happy to be aboard. Very, very happy to come up against some extremely brilliant talent, just raising raising the bar for me. You know, working with Archie has been an absolute blessing as far as I'm concerned. You know, they're going to steal, steal for the best. 
What is what is she like on set? What's she like to work with or work alongside? She is brilliant. She's fantastic. She's focused. She's fun when there's a moment to have that. I mean, the show is pretty intense. I I feel like Kendra Archie is juggling a lot in the show. Mm. You know, there's like you said, it's there's conspiracy theories happening going on. There's so many different storylines happening that you know, off screen, you have to follow and on screen, you have to follow and speeches you have to give. And um, it was it was really wonderful working with her. And she was extremely helpful for moments that I felt like I'm kind of overwhelmed. Where are we? What, what <laughs> you know, so. and, you know, in terms of being on set, did you who were the main people that you end up? Well, I mean, maybe you don't like it too much way, but were I there know. a few main people you worked alongside this is, you know, in the season? Yeah. Yes, Donald Lowe. Wonderful. He plays Sheriff McCullough. Um, of course, Archie herself, uh, Chris Holden Reed, actually all the whole team mm-hmm. and, and brief conversation. But I would say Archie is most uh Archie the most, but Jason Amara, who plays Max. Um yeah. So fleeting moments with everybody, and of course, unfortunately, not Mr. Christopher Plummer. Um unfortunately um but feeling extremely blessed to be in the same company as him in this show so yeah i got to play with everybody but archie was the main rival i mean main partner <laughs> <laughs> well is there anything you can tease about what we can expect from you know the first season the second this new season i mean um i don't want to say it's a thriller but I definitely hope the audience tunes in every week because uh, it's very intense. It's very emotional. Anyone who likes a whodunit will watch episode one and go, oh, yeah, I know. I know who it is. And then by two, they're going to go, wait now. So that person's gone, dead all of a sudden. Who knows? Who knows? Right. So I think the audience will be definitely in for a thrill. Um, Show up with your (laughs) cocktail and figure out who done it. And bring your home, some Kleenex because all of those emotions are in there too. That's awesome. Well, the last thing I'll ask you is do you have do you watch who it? Are you into that sort of thing? Do you have a favorite right now? Do I do I sometimes I do yet, but I can't. Right now I'm into heavy drama. I'm into the heavy drama. You know, I got into a hot minute of succession. I'd turn that off because I was like, oh, this is stressing me out. So, but I do love Who Done It. I do love the police procedurals as well. I just can't name drop at the moment because I'm there's some really good stuff right now, though. Yeah. Oh yeah. I like, yeah, there's there's a lot of good stuff on TV right now. It's it's wonderful to see a new season of departure to to kind of I, I love the fact that it drops in the summer. So, you know, great. Yeah. I'm so excited. I'm so excited for people to see this. You know, season one was intense, was beautifully shot, you know. Uh, TJ Scott, it's been incredible working with him again as the director. And I, you know, this is moody and dramatic. And now I think people will be pleased when they tune in. I think they will. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for the time. I really appreciate it. Thank you, Andrew. Have a fantastic day.